attention. All hints and tips shown here are personal experiences and serve as support. The repair is at your own risk. All repairing tools used by us in the video can be found on our webshop stellatech.com. Just follow the links in the video description. We suggest the repair especially for people with advanced experience in the repair of smartphones. The repair is very extensive because you have to transfer several parts from the old screen to the new one. For example buttons, charging port and others. Please write us in the comments on how difficult you felt the repair. Removing the back cover. Power off the mobile phone. Remove the SIM card tray. Heat the back cover along its edges. Fix the suction cup in the lower area of the back cover. Try to raise the back cover a little by pulling on the suction cup. This is required for sliding the plectrum tool between back cover and frame. If you don't succeed, heat the back cover again and fix the suction cup at another place, maybe in the middle of the back cover. In this case, you should try to slide the plectrum tool laterally. After sliding the plectrum tool between back cover and frame, let it stuck and use it as a placeholder. Use a second plectrum tool or the spudger to lever once around between back cover and frame. Heat again and again. As soon as the adhesive is released completely, the back cover can be removed. Remove the adhesive residuals from the middle cover as well as from the frame. Removing the middle cover. Remove 10 screws from the middle cover and take away the small plastic covering. Release the NFC connector from the middle cover with the help of the spudger and the tweezer. Heat the connector of the amplifier right beside the camera slightly and release it with the tweezer. Start levering out the middle cover with a spudger from underneath. Then release the middle cover in the upper section and take it out. Removing the mainboard including the battery. Remove the loudspeaker with the help of the spudger. Remove the camera as well as the front camera.
Release the charging port connector in the lower section of the mainboard with the help of the spudger. Remove the bar from inside the LCD screen with a tweezer. The bar is located nearby the volume and power button. Raise up the mainboard from underneath with the help of the spudger. Simultaneously, release the audio connector in the upper section with the plectrum tool and clap the mainboard to the left side. Attention! The LCD flex cables are located there. Use the tweezer to remove the protective foil from the flex connectors. Release the LCD flex connectors with a spudger. Separate the main board from the LCD screen completely and remove it. Removing components from the old LCD screen to transfer them to the new one. Remove the charging connector with a tweezer. Heat the flex cable of the volume button as well as of the power button flex cable slightly. Release the connectors, which are located laterally on the side of the buttons with the help of the spudger. Release the flex cable with the spudger little by little. Heat again in between until you can remove the whole unit. Remove the buttons with a tweezer. Transferring the components to the new LCD screen. Set the buttons, volume and power from the inside into the display frame with the help of the tweezer. Adjust the flex unit. Fix the connector to the upper area of the display frame with a spudger. Set the flex cable into the inside of the LCD screen and fix the button connectors. Fix the flex cable by pushing carefully. Set in the charging connector and link it.
fixing the mainboard including the battery. Hold the mainboard laterally on the LCD screen and connect the two flex cables. Thread the cables with the help of the tweezer and fix the connector with the help of the spudger. Fix the protective foil on the connector covering. Adjust the mainboard on the LCD screen. Simultaneously thread the audio connector carefully. Link the flex connectors of the mainboard one after the other and fix them by pushing slightly with the spudger. Set the plastic bar into the right side of the LCD screen and fix it. Adjust the camera on the mainboard and connect it. Do also adjust the front camera and connect it. Tip: It is easier to fix the front camera on the mainboard before you're fixing the mainboard on the LCD screen. If you do it afterwards like we did in this tutorial, you will also succeed but you will need much more patience to connect the front camera. Power on the LCD screen and test it for functionality. Insert the loudspeaker module. Fixing the middle cover. Adjust the middle cover on the mainboard and fix it by pushing it slightly until it is locked in completely. Connect the NFC flex cable with the middle cover. Fix the middle cover with 8 screws and simultaneously do also fix the plastic covering with 2 screws. Fixing the back cover. Insert the SIM card tray.
do also insert the label and fix it in the slot of the card tray. Clean the back cover with a cloth and spirit. To get a professional result, it is recommended to use the original adhesive for the battery cover of this model. Fix the adhesive on the back of the battery cover and push it solid with a cloth. Tip. Be very conscientiously because the adhesive is extremely thin and so it is very difficult to make corrections if it is fixed. Remove the protective foil from the back of the adhesive. If needed, you can use the opportunity to make little corrections. Lay down the back cover to the frame of the LCD screen, adjust it and fix it with a cloth. Finally, power on the device and test the functionalities of the LCD screen. If you want to know how to replace the battery of your Sony Xperia Z5 Compact, then have a look at the following video. Sony Xperia Z5 Compact Battery Replacement All shown tools and spare parts can be found on our webshop stellatech.com